In today's video, we are painting. Hello YouTube, welcome to yet another video. My name is B A S U Basu and today we are painting very basic tutorial and for this tutorial you would need acrylic paint three brush sizes i'm gonna mention it right in the corner and yes let's begin so first thing i'm gonna do i'll create a background like sky color so i'm gonna take some blue and lots of white to it lots and lots of white now from top I'm gonna add white and blue. Move your hand like a wiper. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Alright guys, in my mountain scene, I would have clouds. For the clouds, I'm using a mid-size brush. Half an inch thick. Flat head. And I'm just going to use white. Make sure that there's no other color besides white. So what I'm going to do, watch this. I will place my brush flat, right? And then I'm going to rotate my hand. And then drag and move. I'm gonna have another guy here on the opposite side. Keep rotating your hand, move it around. All right, then I'm gonna add a little bit of black, just a tad bit from the corner tip of my brush. Mix it in my white get a little gray like a medium gray and then I'm gonna not swivel I'm gonna just dab like I'm dabbing more towards the bottom half of my cloud Some more white and I'm gonna readjust my white area on the top half of my cloud. Readjusting some whites make the top area brighter. of my cloud because the light is hitting the cloud more from the top and it's casting a shadow at the bottom. All right now guys, uh, I'm gonna let the clouds dry and now let's move on to the uh, mountain part of the painting. I'm gonna use a flat head, uh, uh, one inch thick uh, flat head brush um, and then I'll take phthalo blue with it. And then with phthalo blue, I'm gonna create these 
mountainous summits. Go. And then I'm gonna just bring it down on from an angle. Just fill it down as much as you can. Fill it all the way down, and I'm gonna just leave this area, this particular area, for like a water body. All right, after the base color of the mountain, I'm gonna use the putty knife. And just a little bit of white, I'm gonna just take it on my putty knife. Not too much, you can see right here. I'm gonna even get rid of the extra. Just, just a tad bit. And then from one area, I will choose like, you know, where is my light source? I'm going to lighten up the mountain and very, very faint pressure with my putty knife. I'm just gonna extend the white from one side on the mountain. Like different angles, it's very faint pressure. And this one side of the mountain will be in the shadow. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of blue in my white. And this side, I'm gonna pull it down. Darker. things happen as Bob Ross said. You know. So this side I'm keeping it more on a bluer scale. You know. Just sliding the paint very very gently. This side is more exposed to the light, so I'm, I'm adding more white when I'm sliding the paint from this front angle. Keep adding more white. Similar thing I'm gonna do on the other guys. I'm gonna keep it a little slightly d darker on one side. Side. I mean, even I will introduce some of my phalo blue. Like I'm finding, I'm playing around with my mountains, and I'm finding my own shapes. Like I'm deciding like you know how how it would turn out better like what is making it more natural like I'm playing around basically it's nothing no no rocket science to it very faint pressure I'm gonna bring it again from one side because the light source is from this angle So basically playing around with the shapes and coming to a conclusion with a mountainous 
or rocky mountainness with some snow. Like I'm changing angles as well when I'm moving my knife. It will give you different variation, you know, a lot of contrasts and, you know, textures you will get. And it will start making sense to you, like as, in, as mountains, you know, it's as simple as it can be. I'm just playing around at this point. Adding a little bit more white, certain areas to give more definition. I'll do some darks here and there. All right, moving along, I'm gonna take some white, add a little bit of white. Just do a little tree there. You can turn your big brush flat and then add little branches. I'm just dabbing with my brush. You can do this with the fan brush as well, but I don't have it at, mo at this moment, but I'm doing it with a flat head, big brush. upwards and you can start adding little dabs of leaves so I am dabbing black over the previous strokes that I did in order to give an illusion of leaves growing. And then I'm gonna rinse off my brush, dry it up, and then just go over Take a little bit of blue as well now, right on the shoreline. I'll put a little bit of blue like this as well. And guys, that little spot that we had earlier, I'm gonna convert that into a bird, smallest brush. Just pull out two strokes from that spot. Thank you so much guys. This is uh, the final result. Uh, basic, basic, beginner friendly mountain scene. Um, I hope you had a good time watching this video. Please uh, click the notification icon for more notifications. Um, when I'm uh, adding more videos, I need your help to grow this channel. So please subscribe and um, hope to see you next time with another painting tutorial. 
and I will also discuss, you know, um, my future projects. And uh, thank you so much. Sayonara.